Just when we thought we had seen the last of any new Star Wars The Force Awakens footage after the final U.S. trailer that was released a few weeks ago, an international trailer for Japan has been released today, showing off some never-before-seen footage. Several scenes featuring different character interactions were shown throughout. If you don't want to hear any more about the new footage, please skip to the next topic. But if you do, David, what was some of the new footage that we see in this Japanese trailer, and what did you think about it? That image right there on the screen just sums it up. That was awesome. I mean, that scene with Ray and you know Kylo Ren, the lights. I, I almost wish I didn't see that scene because all we saw of her, that we knew she was in conflict on that planet. We see her in the other trailer. She looks like she's shooting at something, shooting a ship coming at her, or something like that. It's, I don't call it a spoiler. Um, it, it, it looks great. First of all, let me just say it looks fantastic. I'm, I'm excited to see this, but I think some of these scenes I wish I didn't see. I love the opening shot though of her um, in the next to the star destroyer on Jakku. Like it looks like the big um, the engine. Like yeah. she's right right by it, and you see how massive that is and how small she looks. And of course, her interactions with BB-8. I think if we're gonna earn him or her, BB-8 could be her. Uh, some more fans uh, than she already has. Josh. Yeah, I mean it was a completely different trailer. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm I'm upset that I watched it or I'm even more excited. I don't think it gave away much more uh, than than the other one did. That's always been my problem with trailers is that a lot of times trailers give away a lot of stuff like Southpaw, whatever. Um, but I think uh, I, yeah, this one got me. This this was an awesome trailer. I was pumped about it. That yeah, a lot of people. I saw some tweets out there that said they liked it better than the the U.S. one that debuted a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about that yet, but. I don't know about like liking it more. Mm -hmm. It's definitely like I said, it's very different. This this one had way more action, mm -hmm. I thought, um, and totally different. There was only a few of like the same shots, like the Harrison Ford, you know, Han Solo talking about the Force, it's all real, and that kind of stuff. Cool interactions between Ray mm -hmm. and Boyega, and um, I, I, yeah, that th this one. This one is a movie. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things. Uh, I mean, in, in the very beginning, it's kind of the same when when Ray is asked. I, uh, she says, "I'm no one." Yeah. You know what that means? That means she's someone. Yeah. That means she's like Luke's daughter, whatever. I, okay, here's always been my argument. If ever, all these theorists with, with Star Wars have been like, it's Luke's daughter, it's yeah. Han and Leia's daughter. Why in every Star Wars do the parents just leave their kids? Why are they always leaving their kids? Don't know. Because yeah. they have to hide them because they're so powerful. Ah, I unbelievable. I don't know. Yeah, she also, they have a line in here. She says, I know all about waiting. And then they kind of cut it. I think it's a little cheap. Then it goes, for my family. It, it's obviously taken from a different dialogue or speech, and they moved it over okay. there. But for my family, what, what does that mean in the right. context of is she related to, yeah. to the Skywalkers or Leia and Han? I like the maybe my favorite part in the, in, the, in this new trailer was when uh, Kylo Ren is walking in with his all of his boys and mm -hmm. there's like blowing stuff up. That wasn't in the first mm -hmm. one, uh, you know. He's got his and there there looks like they're just like blowing up that village. That looks pretty bad. Yeah, and I'm we excited. see the flame trooper. Yeah, oh, the that's flame. A, yeah, the flame. Yeah. Oh man. And uh, what else do we got here? Um, we saw a quick shot of Leia at the command center with C three PO. Uh, but yeah, that shot right there is the one that most That's people, the money shot right yeah, there. people are talking yeah. about because we haven't seen Kylo Ren and Rey in the same yeah. shot before. But we do see uh, Boyega light up his lightsaber, mm -hmm. which we didn't see. Mm -hmm. You kind of see him in the background, you know, when when uh, Kylo Ren has the, the lightsaber, but we don't actually see Boyega light up the lightsaber, mm -hmm. and we do in, in this trailer. And then Kylo Ren says something in this trailer also saying, fulfill our destiny. I think a lot of people are reading a little more into that. Yeah. They're saying, thinking, okay, maybe he's talking about family destiny. Right. I might think that's maybe he's talking about the Knights of Ren. He's talking about uh -oh. the destiny of whatever they were formed to do. True. So I'm not sure if that necessarily connects him to uh, the Skywalker family. And if, if there's like some... Uh, flashbacks to Vader training him, things that we didn't see in, in 4, 5, and 6, something of that nature, you know what I mean? I, that's always a possibility. And then it kind of ends with the hope is not lost today, it is found. That's like a line that we didn't hear in, oh, yeah. in the first one. Uh, Sinead, what did you think of the trailer? Um, I liked it. First of all, I think it's like so much different than the one that we saw a couple weeks ago. But I guess my question is, is why... What makes them decide to put out a completely separate trailer internationally? Like, why didn't they just release that across the like across the world? Um, I'm not too sure, but I know they cut different trailers for different regions to, for specific markets. I don't know specifically why 
something in the one that we saw before right. wouldn't work for a Japanese right. market. Like, right. I can understand certain things they want to play to certain audiences, but for Star Wars, I think it's pretty much universal. And well, these two trailers are, th I think they're very different. That's why I was very 100%. curious about it. I think um, maybe also, too, is that that pan-Asian audience is like a third of the world. Mm -hmm. So in order mm -hmm. to get that audience more excited for the movie and not like you had to do that but in order to do i think that you, you know release a new trailer shows that star wars is they want that audience mm -hmm. they want to do it and then, and then hopefully the pan asian audience will appreciate it hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider